Hey, Tim here. Wanted to do a quick review on the Nordic Auto Plow, the plow you can use with your car to clear your driveway. I've had it for about three years. Absolutely love it. Works great. We get a lot of snow here. Don't have a ton of snow today, about three inches of snow, but I thought I'd give you a quick video review of how it works. So first thing, getting the plow on your car. I'm going to come in here and grab it. I'm lucky enough to have it stored uh, just horizontally flat here, but you can also tilt it up to store it vertically. Just slide it up in front of your car. Now, I'm lucky enough to have a Nissan Leaf here to plow it, which is 100% electric. Uh, but it will work with any car with a low enough bumper. If you have a truck where the bumper is up real high or an SUV, you're not going to get quite as much leverage. You might uh, run the plow over. So they do recommend it for cars only. Now, we've got some clips coming in the side here. And a bungee cord up underneath. Now, this one does just have regular all-season tires on it. Um, seems to work great with the electric car because you don't have to idle the engine or move the transmission at any specific speed. It's almost like having low gear to plow with. Really nice. So, big advantage to the electric car with plowing. Uh, it also has a lot of torque and a lot of weight because of the batteries. And other great part, when you're moving along slowly, you don't have to worry about the engine idling at all. It takes less than a percent of the battery to plow the whole driveway. All right, so once you've got all your straps and bungee cords in place, what's gonna happen when you move forward? The plow is just gonna wedge up underneath the bumper and you're just going to gently push the snow forward. Now, it's not like a normal plow where you'd be able to move piles and lift the plow up and move a pile back. Once you get the snow to a spot and you build up a big pile, if you need that pile out of the way, you're going to have to shovel it out of the way, but that's fine. It's a great workout.
slide the plow up. The driveway's clear, so in the morning, it takes me about maybe 10 minutes at the most to get out, plow the snow, and then I'll show you in a second here. There are some areas you might want to clean up depending on the shape of your driveway. I want to show you as far as modifications that I've made to the plow. First thing, notice I didn't really use my windshield wipers. The clips that go on the top, I have managed to run over. I think not bad that that's the only damage to the plow in three years of plowing, but that's why I had those up there. You really only need the uh, two straps. The other ones are just backups. You've got the bungee cords on the side as well. Now, the trick to this plow, what makes it work for a car, is it's got rounded edges on the bottom. The bottom's the same as the top here. Nice rounded edge, so it's not going to catch on anything. If you've got gravel, you can still use it. You've got a bumpy driveway, it's going to slide over that, unless the bump's maybe more than about two inches there. Other modifications I have made to the plow, added a little more padding underneath to where it sits up under the bumper so it doesn't do any damage there. And on the back of the plate here, I added a round piece of PVC pipe so that it slides better when you are backing up. Before I had that, the plow did bounce around a little bit when you're backing up. Not a big deal, but much better when it slides smoothly. All right, so your driveway is pretty clear. You can head off to work, but once you pile this snow up, you get a couple more snows, it keeps piling back. You're going to end up with your pile moving out. If you don't have enough room, you are going to have to shovel that back. So like I said, not completely a replacement for a normal plow, but hey, for what it is, amazing. You just use your own car, plow your driveway, done in no time.